Hey, how are ya? So I'm going to talk about stats. Um, a lot of us like to know what's going on with the different markets, and this is what's going on with Gainesville. So I'm going to be consider comparing 2022 to 2023. So here in 2023, we've had 99 closed sales in the month of May. That is 4.2% more than what happened last year. Last year we had 95, now we're at 99. Let's talk about cash sales. We've got lots and lots of people paying cash in today's world. We've actually have 29 cash sales in 2022 versus 33 this year. Now, what does that mean? That means we've had 9.2% more cash sales than we did last year. Now, here's the biggest one, median sales price. As you guys know, we've got a lot less people selling. Many, many people have bought or refinanced and have two, three, and 4% mortgages, and they're not they're not giving those up. That is really cheap money. And based on that, we've had the median sales price go from 284,900 in 2022 to 307,500. That's a 8% increase in sales price. And that's the median sales price. However, the average sales price is 337,845 for 2023 versus 311,000 for 2022. What does that mean? Uh, we've had houses take a little bit longer to get to contract. So median time to contract, we're at 12 days versus 2022, we are at five days. Median time for the say, house to close, 49 days versus 42. Again, fairly close. Um, however, what we're just having is things are selling faster, but they're taking a little bit longer to get closed and they're paying more money for them. So has our market gone down? No, it's gone up 8% in the last six months. Um, is that good? It is what it is. Uh, pending inventory. We've got 104 houses on the market, where last year we had 158 houses on the market. Active inventory. Now this is good. We have 143 houses on the market, where last year we had 104. Again, these are all numbers, but what am I here to tell you about? Gainesville's hot. We've got investors buying here from all over the country. It's good, it's bad, it's ugly, it is what it is. Um, Gainesville's, a lot of people are moving here from South Florida, from all over, because South Florida's getting too crowded, so more and more people are wanting to be where it's pretty and where there's more space. I've driven out to High Springs and, oh my God, I mean, it's turning into a strong town. Um, house prices are, they're up there. So we're looking at an 8% in sales price, uh, more cash sales than before, and the market is still strong here. So if you're looking to sell, it's a great time to sell. You're looking to buy, yes, it's a great time to buy. Because if the interest rates drop, we're going to have a rush. And that means you're going to have better interest rates, but probably higher prices. You lose on one and win on the other. <laughs> Hope this helps. For any questions in reference to real estate, what's going on, the stats, you know, what houses work, etc., etc., give me a holler. I'm here for you. Take care of yourself. Bye.